my wife and I do this thing called tag team parenting, where we each give each other like an hour of our own time to do something while the other tag team parents with the kids. Today I have an hour to go into the swamp in the kayak and explore the swamp properly. I went earlier this morning with one of the kids in the canoe. The water level was too low to get in, so I'm going back. Just me in the kayak. We are going into the swamp this time to see the beaver dam that they set up. Hopefully we can see some snapping turtles, some carp. The water level is pretty low, so we should be able to see pretty amazing things. Oh yeah, let's do this. I'm also bringing my fishing rod because I'm gonna fish on the way back, obviously. All right, we are at the mouth of the outlet or the inlet, I guess it's the outlet of the swamp. You can see how smooth and calm it gets right as we get into this little inlet to the swamp we're in. Just like that. Just like that, it gets calm, quiet, beautiful. It smells like actual manure. And I think it's because of all the manure that runs off from the farms, runs off into the swamp, and then out into Missisquoi Bay, which is the Canadian side of Lake Champlain. Oh, it smells like a toilet or an outhouse. It smells like an outhouse that hasn't been cleaned in a long time. Doesn't smell good. Doesn't smell good at all. Oh, foul is what it smells like. Okay, there are huge carp in here. Whoa. Yeah, there are some serious, serious carp in here. Yeah, this is the dam that the beavers set up. Okay, let's see if I can get over this. Okay, let's see if I can step in there. What was that? Okay, that had better be a frog. <laughs> back in and I am on the beaver dam right now get myself in to the swamp slowly and surely without tipping What is that? Wow. Jeez Louise, that's a big heron. And it sounds just like a dinosaur. It's beautiful out here. Uh, it is blisteringly hot, by the way. I'm not, I'm not even sweating because I'm exerting energy. I'm just sweating because it's 1230 and I am directly in the heat of the sun pretty thick stuff so go a little further then head back and catch a fish just want to see a 50 pound snapping turtle that's all just want to see a 50 pound snapping turtle eating a frog that's all I want to see then I'll be happy or a deer I want to see a deer running through the swamp 
These beautiful lilies, these water lilies. Oh, there's another heron, holy cow. Oh my gosh, that was an owl. Oh my gosh, that was an owl. Oh my gosh, that was an amazing owl. And there's another heron. What on earth, am I in Jurassic Park? All right, this might be the end of the path here because it's getting extremely shallow. Yeah, this is getting a little hairy in here. Okay, I think we can turn back now. Yeah, this is impossible to navigate through. This is sort of like Venice, except without the old European architecture. And oddly enough, this is actually called Venise en Quebec because it is a swampland much like Venice. And Venise en Quebec means Venice in Quebec. All right, that's it. Back to open water. All right, so we're at the end of the swamp now, back at the dam. And I'm gonna go for an unorthodox technique to get over the dam. I'm going to go with the battling ram. <laughs> Didn't work. Okay, time to step in this caca. Oh, yeah. Success. All right, good. drift back and I am going to fish along the way. This is a good spot. <laughs> 